What's going on my Trader Club? Today we are gonna start getting into level 42 in Pokemon Go, maybe even 43. So, I appreciate you guys being here. Let's get into the details. So, welcome to the Trainer Club. Here we go! Welcome back everybody. Let me know in the comments below, how are you doing on your level up guide in Pokemon Go? So, as of right now, just a quick overview before we jump into this raid. We have five platinum medals. Earn 100,000 Stardust, 200 super effective charge attacks, and catch five legendary Pokemon, which is what we are going to jump into right now. Shout out to Fleece King in Australia for inviting us for our first Curum raid since it has come back. And I lost, saw a lot of people out there in my comments as well that said the black and the white are coming out, and they are not as of right now. Oh, the raid lobby's full, what a bummer. All right, well, we're not gonna do that raid right now, so let's get back into the details. 100,000 Stardust, best way to do so is nine 12 kilometer eggs battling the Team Go Rocket leaders. So guys, please save up on those eggs, start getting after it. Number two, you can, I believe, use a star piece. Let's try this out. It's probably not the best use just to blow a star piece right now, but we're gonna do it anyway. So if I do put that on, so five platinum medals is relatively self-explanatory, 100,000 Stardust, 200 super effective charged attacks. So. I do believe you'll be able to do that in raid battles and then catch five legendary Pokemon, which is pretty relatively easy. But if you guys did see my last video and you saw me telling you guys to save that, then you can go ahead and claim both of those. And now we're already at 15,000 Stardust right there already just from that encounter. Hey, and then we got an Arcan encounter as well, which is pretty dope. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a Pineapple Berry. We're gonna do a quick catch of this guy. Boom, that should have caught it. And we did because we got the Stardust and we are going to save this one because we want to lucky trade that. We don't even have enough candy of that one. So now the grind begins for level 43. It looks pretty easy. Honestly, I'm already at 15,000 Stardust just right there. 200 super effective charge attacks. One thing that you can do is go into gym battles. So you're going to want to line up your first Pokemon here. So we have Chandelure which is going to be a ghost type Pokemon. So I wanna have a relatively lower type Pokemon so I can make sure to do charge attacks. So if I go ahead and search ghost, which Pokemon has a ghost move actually, that's important. So we're gonna go keep here. I do know that the Marowak should have a ghost move for sure. So we're gonna go ghost on ghost crime here. So this one has dazzling gleam, so I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna go ahead and switch into the Marowak that does have the Shadow Bone combination. So as soon as I can save up, I'm gonna go ahead and use that on that Pokemon. Ooh, this Pokemon is, is handling me pretty good right here. So I'm gonna hopefully use that as well. And we should take it down with one. Oh no, he's gonna use an attack. He's gonna use an attack. Err. Two super effective charge attacks right there just by one Pokemon. So that's the advantage of using lower tiered Pokemon against some of these other Pokemon. Super effective charge attacks can come from here. We'll go ahead in here again. When I do see that, that's way too high of a Pokemon. You're gonna have to kind of teeter around and make sure that you're using Pokemon that have what you want in it. So using something like this Marowak, which is going to be okay effectiveness, but then if I'm able to do the Shadow Bone on that Pokemon, I'm able to at least get the attack off, and that's gonna count as super effective. So you're just gonna have to grind that up, get it done, make it happen, and then we're gonna be on to level 43. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these, and then I'm gonna start stacking up on some 12 kilometer eggs before we are gonna get onto level 43. So this is just grind time. Do those super effective attacks, catch the five legendaries, which I'll check in with you guys when we do catch those, and we will be on to get some more leveling up and please if you need to catch more curum check out my guide up here let's do this and if you're doing the grinding right now catching these second tiered evolution pokemon that are in the wild like everywhere right now super super beneficial for the stardust so if we go ahead and catch this guy obviously i'm on a star piece right now but just that pokemon alone is giving us a ton of stardust i believe that was 900 stardust on that pokemon and then we also have this pokemon weather boosted great time to catch weather boosted pokemon so we're already at 16,000 stardust just from the research task and catching a few pokemon so this is going to go relatively fast just check your radar Ooh, we even have a cloister here right there like let's go you just got to go around catching all those second tier evolution pokemon grind it up and the weather boost is going to be really important as well and you know what's also pretty cool for me is that i was at 25,900,000 Stardust when I started level 42 to level 43. So each and every time I go up, it's literally getting me 
to 100,000 Stardust, then I'm needed to get to 26 million Stardust. So look at that, 2918. And yeah, we're just going right over here for this cloister. Any moment now. Ah, there's the cloister. Let's go. Let's see how much Stardust we do get from, this is a non-weather boosted Pokemon, 261. Usually I like to quick catch these like you did see me last time. Pretty sure it's 900 Stardust. We'll double check here. And now we're at 19,000 Stardust already just from being on a Star Piece for a few minutes. Star Piece does really help out, guys. It's gonna give you that 15% more. Wow, 1,800 Stardust. Okay, I was extremely mistaken. And now we have a raid that we can hopefully get into right now. Please make me in. Let me get in, 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 let me get in. Yes, we made it. All right, hopefully there's enough trainers in here. And there is, we have the whole squad in here, all the elite and alumni crew. All right, Kiram. Let's do this raid, this is what we're gonna do. And if you guys do need to see how to catch these Kurums, like I did say, check out that video, but also we can do one here together. Ah, let's go, I love Kurum, it's such a dope Pokemon. I just really like it. Got a bunch of bonuses going on in here, it is gonna contribute towards your Stardust as well. I really wish I got a good Shadow Metagross. That is one regret that I am missing out on, unfortunately, I did not get a good one. I could have grinded a little bit harder for that Pokemon because it's such a beast. I would definitely use an Elite TM on that Pokemon. And it's just so relatively resistant as far as Metagross goes. That's why I had a couple lucky shinies. They weren't even the best of IVs. I mean, like, I think they were 91, 89, stuff like that. And I still max them just because maxing lucky Pokemon is such a low requirement of Stardust, right? So it does give you that benefit that it's like, you can get these Pokemon up, two of them for the price of one, if I was saving for one regular without that type of IV spread, which I was totally cool with, and the shiny ones are so dope. Also a really cool shiny there as well. So we are smashing this Kiram, coming down. Wow, it actually brought in a Gardevoir. That's surprising. I wish Mega Lucario was out. <laughs> I really do. It would boost all the Steel type Pokemon. So now we're at 21,000, and we got 16 super effective attacks right there. So doing raid boss battles, is the only way to make sure that you get a really good one. So 2042 is gonna be the 100% IV here. And we need to catch this Pokemon as well. So raid boss battles are big in level 42 to 43. Set it down. All right, Kiram, my friend. I actually really like to throw at this Pokemon for some reason. I like the further back Pokemon. It's more fun for me. The really close ones doesn't really do it. Will we catch it? No, I wonder if. When we hit it, will it automatically register that we caught that Pokemon? We'll see that together. Ah, what happened right there? The bottom of the screen, that was weird. All right. Ooh. Got to make sure you get that off early. There's very little time for error right there. Very little error time. Challenging boss, I like you. Cure him, let's go. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if the second I hit the ball, if that registers that I caught that legendary Pokemon. That'd be pretty cool, because it seems to be counting when we do everything else before it even happens, right? Before we actually see the animation, it like counts. There we go, excellent throw. So far we haven't seen the thing pop up, and each time it has broken out. Here we go. Boom, right there. Just beat the attack. That is what is crucial right there. Beating out the attack, not wasting balls, as you did see me waste a ball earlier when I threw it way too late. Man, I feel like I'm just a little bit late too. Just a little bit, like I could get there just a little bit earlier. Rapido. There it is, that was a good one. And boom, it caught it right there. So it does register the second you catch it. So that means if you are skip animation catching it, if you guys wanna check out that video up here, you can. Is all you have to do is once you see that Stardust pop up, you can run immediately, which is really cool. You don't even have to wait for it, it's like caught, run immediately so it does register as i anticipated so we'll do one more of those so i can show you what i mean by that about the run button because that means you automatically caught it and so that pre-register is going to be a little bit advantageous at least you'll have five free knowing if you guys did catch that pokemon or not so that is catching curum Getting Stardust, 21,000 out of 100,000 already. This star piece is doing marvelous wonders. You can always use a gotcha as well in the background. That's a great way to get Stardust without even playing. So we are gonna rack up on some Stardust, do a couple more raids, and get those super effective attacks because just by battling that, we got 16 super effective charge attacks, caught one legendary, and we got another, what was it, 1,500 or so Stardust. So that was a big win overall. Legendary Pokemon are big 
for level 42 to 43. And we're just taking down Mega Obama Snow right now. Friendship boost, let's go. Friendship level up, I love it. This is exciting stuff. So, will we get a shiny 80 Mega Energy on that Pokemon? Not gonna be a shiny, 1648 weather boosted. And we're just finishing up on the Kurum and we are doing raid hour in Norway right now. And we just got a 2543 Kurum. So what we're gonna do is catch this one hopefully in a ball or two and then be on to the next one. Hiya. Oh man, wow. That's crazy, the timing guys. You really have to work on the timing. It is uh, a little bit challenging. This might be the best one that I have. So it's 10 CP off. It is weather boosted, which I'm pretty hyped about. And I am uh, having a little bit, and we caught it right there. So when that does pop up, like I did talk to you guys about, as soon as you see that, that means you caught it. We have 100,000 Stardust. We just completed the fifth raid. So we are almost there, guys, just like that. And look, 2543, let's go ahead and check right there. Ooh, 98% IV, but it does have a 14 attack, which I am cool with. As of right now, best one I have. Now jumping into the next raid, and we're gonna finish this up soon here and then move on to level 43 to complete. And on raid hour the other night, we hit level 43. So that was just grinding out the Stardust. Really, that was the biggest part of it, getting everything done there, which is then gonna lead us on to level 44. So level 44 is going to be all about battling. So we have win 30 trainer battles in the Great League, Ultra League, Master League, and you need to battle in the Go Battle League 20 times. So here's the scenario that I'm gonna recommend for you guys. When you go to do trainer battles against another trainer, you can send this to whoever it is, but you have to win these battles. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna go into the battle screen, right? Then whatever league you're gonna do, which you're participating in the Go Battle League right now, just think about it. The time right now is the Great League. So I'm gonna battle in the Great League and that's gonna to count towards my wins for the Great League. However, the other thing you wanna do is go against other trainers to win those battles. So the ideal case scenario would be, you are going to battle another trainer who agrees to do this with you. So this premise is, I am going in if I'm the one that needs to win. We have Lisa here that's helping us out with all maxed out Pokemon in the Master League, right? So all my Pokemon are gonna be maxed out. I'm just gonna go with something hard hitting up front like Giratina, Lisa, is committed to go in with level one Pokemon, CP 10 and 11 Pokemon, three of them. So once we start battling here, you're gonna notice I, with a Giratina all maxed out, legendary Pokemon, battling against a CP 10 Fletchling, is gonna hit it in one hit. Then she's gonna put her next Pokemon in, it's gonna die immediately or faint. And then she's gonna put her third Pokemon in, and then boom, it goes and faints, and we have our first win. And since the system has gotten a little smarter, is all you now have to do is click rematch. By clicking rematch here, which is gonna pop up right here, I am gonna have the exact same party set up, Lisa's gonna have the exact same party set up, and then I'm gonna be able to go and do this again. So that battle took what? A matter of 35 seconds to be able to do? Maybe a minute, maybe less. So then she has the exact same Pokemon in there again. Boom, I make that Pokemon faint. There is number one. And then there's number two. And then finally, we have number three coming in and boom, it goes down. And there is the second battle. We have the second battle won in the Master League. So I'm just gonna go and do this in each and every league. I, being the person that's gonna be victoring, is going to have maxed out Pokemon. Lisa is going to have level one Pokemon. We are gonna keep hitting rematch over and over again is all you have to do is 30 times per league and then battle in the Go Battle League 20 times and then you are done. And there we have it, hitting level 44 onto level 45. So the tasks for this one, which we are going to get to in the next video, is going to be defeat 100 Team Go Rocket Grunts, purify 100 Shadow Pokemon, I hope you guys have been saving up on those 1,000 per purify, defeat a Team Go Rocket Leader 50 times, that's gonna take a lot, and then earn 10 Platinum Medals, which is not really all that much, but preferably we would get through this one in the next video before we get to Calm Day, because in that next level, 46, you're gonna have to complete 100 field research tasks. Not really all that hard, but during calm day, it's gonna be super easy to breeze through that. And during that time frame, we do need to do a seven days in a row streak. So getting to this level, powering through all the way to get to level 45 is what we are after in Pokemon Go. And then also during this exact same time frame, we do have the level 43 quest line. 
So power up a Pokemon 43 times, which is gonna give you 4,300 dust, even though you're gonna be wasting way more dust than that. But if you guys do wanna conserve that, please power up a level one Pokemon. We have catch 430 Pokemon, which is gonna give you three incenses. And then we have hatch 14 eggs for 4,300 XP. And the total rewards is gonna give you a Ponyard spawn, 4,300 Stardust, and 4,300 XP. And round number two, we have battle 43 Go Rocket Grunts. So this would be a good thing to wait until you get to level 44 because that is when you're gonna have to battle 100 Go Rocket Grunts, so you might as well do that together. And that's gonna give you 4,300 Stardust, win 14 raids for three rare candies, then you have used 43 Golden Raspberries to help catch Pokemon, which is gonna be great during those raid battles. 4,300 XP for grand total rewards of 4,300 Stardust, three premium raid battle passes, and 4,300 XP. Then you have make 43 great curveball throws, which would coincide with level 46 because in level 46 you need to make 50 excellent throws, which would then count for 4,300 Stardust. Evolve 43 Pokemon, like I talked about in the XP video. If you wanna check it out up here, how to get a ton of XP, you guys can go ahead and do that. That's gonna give you three Poffins. And then we're gonna have transfer 430 Pokemon for 4,300 XP, which is gonna give you 4,300 Stardust, three Super Ink Gears, and 4,300 XP again. And then we're gonna be able to claim the rewards of 4,300 Stardust, a Shedinja encounter, <laughs> 43,000 XP, 4,300 Stardust, a Tortuga encounter, and three XL rare candy. So that's everything we need to know. Level 43, level 42 to 43, 43 for 44 in Pokemon Go. So appreciate you guys being here. Likers, comments, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody takes your support, subscription, and participation to the next level. I'm gonna see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I wanna take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the trainer club. You all mean the absolute world to me and I will see you guys out on the next video.